Hello, welcome to the channel. Um, this is a little benchtop English uh, wheel review. So this came out two days ago. Um, I was one of the first to purchase it. This is from a company called Stacy's in the UK and it cost me £235 and a fiver postage. Uh, don't tell the wife I bought this, she doesn't know. So um, it arrived today, two days later. Um, it took me about 20 minutes to assemble. I've got a bit of steel and a bit of alley just to put through, just to see how it shapes up and how it feels. Um, everything looks really good on it, well made, well put together. You know, it's not like your cast wheels, you don't expect it to be, but it certainly looks a lot more um, structurally secure, uh, sturdy than uh, other cheap ones that are out there on the market. Um, I know they are doing a 400 mil uh, deep throat uh, one. So this is 250, but all in all for 235 quid. At the moment, I'm happy. I'll give it a test first, um, but it does seem good value for money uh, straight out of the box. So I'll get them pieces uh, wheeled up and just show you what it's like. Okay, so this is the wheel all set up. It comes with seven anvils. It's a very sturdy machine, actually a lot sturdier than some of the rubbish that's out there on the market. As for a little bench top wheel, I've got to say first impression is pretty good. It's got a 250mm throat depth, got some nice little features, it's all bronze bushed here, nice sturdy cradle, anvils are all finished off nicely, good selection of them, so I should just do a little practical test on it. Okay, so this is my uh, bit of 1.2 aluminium gonna put it through. Get a bit of pressure on there. It's a real nice finish on there, as you can see. Plenty of shape. Right. So, let's put a real nice finish on there. very little work, don't need loads of pressure, and that is a pretty good start. So the next test is a bit of 1mm steel. Here are my two sample pieces. First of all, the alley one, loads of shape in there, nice finish to it, and the piece of steel, as you can see by the reflection, nice finish, and uh, lots of shape in there. And that is just off, it's very shallow die that I've got on it. So, very impressed with the outcome, and I'm sure it's capable of even more than what I've just shown there. Okay, final thoughts and opinions. The sample pieces have come out really good. Uh, very happy with them, uh, considering the small anvils and the small contact area. I'm very happy with uh, the run out and uh, 
uh, the way they've turned out. So um, it's going to be used for basically mud guards, um, tanks, uh, little arch repairs. So it does have its place within the workshop. Great for beginners. Much better than like the Mets one that's out there. You know the the thin box section ones you see on eBay. Um, personally, I would stay clear from them. Um, they are going to be doing a bigger one than this, uh, at 400 mil um, depth. So. I'm not too sure of the price of that, but that may be uh, a slightly better one to go for. Uh, but all in all, the 250 one, uh, I think it cost me 235 quid. All in all, very happy with the purchase. Um, I can see lots of uses for this. I'm already thinking, right, if I change the top wheel and uh, the bottom anvil, I could probably use it as a swager. Um, by uh, putting my different profiles in, I can machine them up. Uh, and use it for a different different purpose because they're very easy to take out. Uh, so I've got a multiple port, uh, multiple use tool there. So, but as a, a basic English wheel for the beginner, fantastic. It's not going to panel your Bugatti, but um, it's not meant to. Uh, but all in all, it will get you out of trouble, and it's a great entry level um, for the the hobbyists out there. So it gets a thumbs up from me. I'm very happy with my purchase. It's money well spent, and. Uh, I'll be using this in future videos. Ciao.